Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna do a 2020 best of hair products. I am so excited to do this video, you guys. There are so many products and there are some products that literally have completely just changed my hair and a new flat iron. I cannot wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> to my channel I'm Christy please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell join my glam fam I do upload new videos every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and when I'm not on YouTube you can follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram and on my blog ChristyAllure.com you'll find a lot of my affiliate links there I do really really appreciate when you guys use those links if you see any of these products it does really help support my channel so thank you so much for doing that all right let's just jump into this there's so many products we're gonna start off with the hair products that have really like transform my hair and then at the end I'm gonna show you a new flat iron I can't wait to show you guys and we'll do a little tutorial so let's go over the transforming products because this is some damaged hair we got going on here so shampoo and conditioner wise I can't tell you guys enough I there's one product I really love and then there's product that I I really love too but have like really transformed my hair so you guys know Olaplex I mean everyone talks about Olaplex I really wasn't like a huge believer in Olaplex 3, but I think it's good. Don't get me wrong. I do like that product. It's just not one of my favorites, but I do really like the number five maintenance conditioner. This has been amazing on my hair. This in combination with It's a 10 mask. So this mask right here has been my holy grail mask for all the years that I've been blonde. It's just when I really got damaged, that has been the only thing to really restore my hair more than the Olaplex number three. But as a maintenance conditioner, this Olaplex number five is incredible. The only complaint I have with Olaplex is I just wish they would change their packaging because it's really difficult to get the product out. So that's my only complaint about Olaplex, but it is unbelievably good. If you have damaged hair, you'll want to get your hands on this maintenance conditioner. Cause really typically I, I wash my hair like every other day. If I have my extensions in, I go usually like two days, maybe, maybe three, but it's just really hard for me. I'm just an OCD person. And then the bond, I keep it upside down because again, this packaging is terrible. This is the number six Bond Smoother. Oh my goodness, especially because I have all this, I mean, I have my Bellamy extensions and this is one of my favorites this year, by the way, Bellamy extensions are my absolute favorite. These are the tape ends, but I uh, I do them myself. But I just uh, love it for, especially this front area when I get out of the shower or sometimes I'll just put it on even when my hair is dry and it just needs some conditioning because really the only way these little broken hairs are gonna grow is time and oil. Oil is key and argon oil is, my mom swore by it. And my mom's a cosmetologist or was a cosmetologist when she was alive. So just so you guys know, I spent my entire life in a beauty salon. <laughs> my entire life in a beauty salon. I should have been a cosmetologist. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Olaplex, game changer. The best leave-in, I was an It's a 10 girl, the light one. Oh my gosh, I still love it. I do, I have it in my bathroom, it's great. But this is a game changer for me. This is something my mom introduced me to a long time ago. This is the Keratin Dose Pro Renewal and we used to get this at Cosmoprof, but they don't have it there anymore. But Ulta always has it and it's usually buy one, get one half off or even Walmart sometimes. But uh, Amazon sometimes too, but this is insane. If you have damaged hair, I highly, highly, highly recommend this product. There is so much in here that is so incredibly good for your hair. This is just insanely good, you guys. I can't even tell you. And if you're washing your hair, you know, every two or three day, you know, if you're having lag time in between, putting, you don't wanna to put too much keratin in your hair because actually that can actually break your hair. So you have to be careful with that. And sometimes I won't, I'll use, I'll go back to It's a 10 and then use this one. So I'll switch up. I think it's really good to switch up your hair products. I really do. I find that your hair gets used to things. So it's always good. I always have like four or five different shampoos and conditioners in my uh, shower. I know it looks insane when you go in there. You're like, really, Christy, do you need that many? But honestly, I do. And I love it. Uh, so I have no complaints towards that. But yes, those are my like 
products that I'm like, whoa, these are game changers. So these are a couple products that were sent to me through influencer, influencer or whatever it is. And this is by Pantene. This is the Miracle Rescue Moisture Mix-In Treatment. I actually really like this stuff. So sometimes I'll not use this and I'll use this one and it smells so good. The mist is really nice. It's like a leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. And the, the I have the conditioner in, like a conditioning mask in my shower. And I really, really, really like this line. I think Pantene has always been such a good, good line. This is the moisture mix in treatment. And then this is like the leave-in spray, the 10 in one. This is like, it's a 10. It's very comparable to it's a 10, but more affordable option. And I really like this one too. And again, I'll take this. It's like a cream texture. It's soft, it's light, and sometimes I'll just rub it in my dry hair too. And it just kind of gives it some conditioning, especially if you're not like washing your hair every day, which brings me to dry shampoo. So I love whey, the foam whey. My mom and I swore by that stuff. It is so good. It really is. It just gets expensive. So that's why I don't always purchase it, go out and purchase it. I have fallen in love with this Tresemme one. Oh my gosh. Out of all, I've tried every single drugstore dry shampoo on the market. You name it, I've tried it. My mom and I have tried it. Everything, even the newest ones. I really liked, I think it's Dove. I, I liked it, but it's powdery and it's just leaves a residue in my hair. And I just, I don't really care for it as much. I like the smell, but I don't think it's amazing. This is amazing. The smell, everything about it, it just gives you volume. I mean, you can use this as a texture spray. Oh my gosh, the smell is so incredible. Do you see how fluffy my hair got? I mean, I have, even without my extensions, I use it for length. I don't use it for volume because I have a lot of volume in my hair and naturally, but yeah, this Pro Pure Dry Shampoo and Clean. This is like my holy grail dry shampoo. I think it's better than anything expensive on the market. It is insanely good. And then when it comes to like really conditioning my hair, right? Because I do feel like even with leave-in conditioners, especially since I'm not really blow drying my hair much, I'm not really going anywhere. So, you know, if I'm not filming, I'm not really blow drying my hair. I leave these oils in and that's why it's good not to wash your hair every day too because once you put these products in, you wash them out, you really wasted your money, it went down the drain. So you really want your hair to, you know, really wreak the benefits of these oils. So this has always been one of my favorites. This is the Carotene Elixir, but it's expensive and I don't really use it that often because it's so expensive. And my mom swore by argon oil. She thinks argon oil is the key to damaged hair. And she was a cosmetologist of 50 years, so I believe her. Um, I love argon oil. There's different forms of it you can get. So you can get, you know, Moroccan oil is really good and that's expensive too. I mean, it's an amazing oil, but this oil extra virgin argon miracle oil from AG, uh, AG Firewall, I'll talk about this in a second, is my holy grail. I can't live without product. This is just the actual oil oil and it doesn't feel thick on the hair. It doesn't weigh it down. It's simply amazing. It smells good. It's not too overpowering, even though I'm a sucker for overpowering scents when it comes to hair products, not makeup, but hair products I am. But yeah, oh gosh, you guys, that dry shampoo smells so good. I'm like, dang girl, you smell good. <laughs> you do. I mean, I do. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mean to boast or anything, but I really, I mean, you guys got to get your hands on this dry shampoo. It's insanely good. Sorry. But anyway, the oil, extra oil, one of my favorites, and it's an average price point. It's not affordable like uh, uh, Argon Oil, Moroccan Oil from OGX, which is another good one. This is more of like a spray. So this is good for like just spraying it on my extensions at the ends and not keeping it away from the tape, obviously. But yeah, such a good one. I mean, for the price point, you can't go wrong with this stuff. And it is simply amazing. And it has really helped grow this part out because it was, it was really bad. I mean, it's still bad, but it was really bad. So those are my two favorite like oils. I know Olaplex, I have the Olaplex oil one. I don't even know where it's at. That's how much I don't like it. I don't think it's that great. I don't think it's amazing. So I would much prefer these two. And this is affordable and this is a little bit more pricier. Not expensive, but pricier. So, you know, I try not to put too many products in my hair, but sometimes if I'm not going anywhere and I'm just gonna leave it air drying, to me, like, cause it's so dry, 
it doesn't really affect it. And I have really thick hair. So, you know, like you have to be careful if you have thin hair because oil can really weigh it down. Now, as far as like texture products that I, you know, I need, especially since some of my hair is just really fried on the ends or like right here, there's a couple products I really love. I love this, uh, it's called Cement Theramique, I don't know. It's the Kerastase Resistance. This is just the travel size, which is probably insane that I bought it, but the full size is so darn expensive that I just got the travel size and I use such a small amount of it. I think it's okay to do that. But yeah, this is, I mean, oh my gosh, it smells so good. That is really good for just like, if I don't wanna to put too much pomade, especially since pomade makes my skin break out, I just put that in there and it just really hydrates it and makes it so, so good. AG has a really good one as well. I'll pop it up right there. That's a good one as well. But this is another one. This is Kenra. This is the Nitro Memory Cream, uh, number 18. I mean, this, I have, it was sitting on my thing and I never used it. I think it was, yeah. I don't know how old, and this last, I got it this year. And it's like a little cream, and then you just kind of put it right here, and it literally keeps it in place. Like, I love this because my favorite pomade they no longer make, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when it finally goes away, but I don't even wanna talk about it because they don't even, they discontinued it, and I'm really upset about it, but yeah. So this is gonna replace it, and it's really good. I mean, it's not like as strong as like a pomade, but it works. It does the job. All right. AG Firewall. You guys, I have been raving about this product for so long on my channel. It is just my mom and I, we'd stuck up when Cosmoprof had like a, Cosmoprof is like a cosmetology place, but when my mom was alive and she'd get, we'd literally stock up every time it went on sale because we're already getting a good deal. And then on sale, it was even better. So, oh my gosh, I cannot live without this product. I always have like six of them on standby. Like this is argon oil in a bottle. It's a thermal protector. I use it before I blow dry my hair, before I curl flat iron. It doesn't weigh it down. It smells good. It's not too overpowering. It is just, it just makes your hair so incredibly soft. What I like is actually my favorite cocktail is these two when I get out of the shower. So I like, even if I don't blow dry my hair, this is activated by heat, but it still works. It has that argon oil, so it still moisturizes your hair. And honestly, like, I don't have the kind of hair that, sorry, I think I got lipstick on my thing. I just did this makeup look, so you can check out my Fenty video, but I've had this on now for like eight hours, you guys. I'm about to do a wear test on this, and it is the most incredible powdered foundation. Anyway, you could check that video out. Sorry, <laughs> side note. <laughs> anyway, the, the firewall. So when I get out of the shower, if I did nothing, if I just put nothing in my hair, it would be so frizzy and dry and brittle and nasty looking. Like I just don't have that hair that just dries naturally beautiful. I just don't, you know, I have more minority hair and Hispanic and Asian and I just don't have that kind of hair texture that dries naturally beautiful without any product in it. So this makes my hair feel like I do have that hair. And if I don't use it, I notice a huge difference. Okay, so huge difference. I cannot live without this product. Now, as far as like shine sprays, sometimes I like to just use these if my hair is just still not looking like as shiny as I want it to be. And there's two that I really, really like. I love this, I've used this for years. This is the Catwalk Camera Ready Shine Spray from TG. This has been like, TG was a sponsor when I was an NBA dancer and I just love a lot of the Catwalk products. We used to use a lot of the hairspray. Oh my gosh, it's insanely good. I have it too. I just don't use a lot of hairspray anymore. When I was an NBA dancer, we had the big poofy hair and you know we needed it to stay for game days. So I just don't, I, I use texture sprays. So I'll get to that in just a second instead. So Argon Oil, uh, this is the OGX Pure Oil Shine Mist. This is so good. It has a nice mist to it. It just leaves the hair so, so, so shiny. It smells incredibly good. I'm a smell person when it comes to hair products. I know, I'm gonna keep bringing that up. But another product shampoo that I really, really like is the Tea Tree by, uh, I think it's Paul Mitchell, I'm not sure, but I'll show it right there. It's, the, I don't, I ran out of it, but it's the color treated one. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I want a good cleanse, like I'm gonna put my extensions in, I don't wanna put a lot of like oily type shampoos and conditioners. I love that shampoo and conditioner. I love that tingly feeling. I feel like it just really cleans the scalp and it's really good for like right hair, especially if you get breakouts and long hair. So I can't, I'm sorry. I just can't stop looking at this foundation and the monitor, you guys. I cannot believe I'm so 
flabbergasted that I love a powdered foundation. I mean, I, I haven't had one. I mean, I like the Makeup Forever one, but I don't even feel like it's given me this. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm loving it more and more as the hours go on. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, side notes. All right, so texture spray. I don't use a lot of hairspray. Actually, I don't really use any hairspray. I love Orbe Dry, this is expensive expensive but it is amazing i think back a couple years ago i did the bumble and bumble thickening spray as my top uh i think it was like 2019 or 18 top hair products and i like it but i used it the other day and i was like i don't like it as much anymore i'm obsessed with this this is the best one there's no better texture spray out in the market than this one it smells insanely good probably the best smell I've ever smelled in a hair product I mean so good yes you can get that from a dry shampoo but not this kind I mean th this is worth every single penny and I purchased this during the anniversary stay at Nordstrom's and I was like anytime I can get that little extra sale price on it but it lasts a long time I mean obviously I'm not really doing my hair that much so let's be honest but yeah I love that on my extensions on my natural hair it is incredible that will continue to be my stomach is growling that will continue to be my every year like firewall these two will probably be like every single year if I had to break down, you're like, Christy, what are your top, top favorite can live without hair products right now? It would be this Biolage, just because it's restored my hair. It would be, obviously, Firewall, Orbe, Texture Spray. And I love this one, but for the price point, if I'm trying to save a little bit of money, this one is incredible. This one, you can get at Ulta, Target, Amazon, drugstores any drugstores but yeah again i will link all of these products in the description box so you don't have to worry about taking notes while you're watching this it will all be down there and please again utilize those links if you decide to get any of these products oh my gosh and i forgot yes i can't live without trust my dry shampoo because you need this for every day especially if you're not washing your hair you don't want to be cochina okay that's a hispanic way of saying dirty girl you don't want to be a cochina don't be a cochina my mom would be like "Ooh, cochina you're not washing your hair today <laughs> she was so cute my mom was mexican <laughs> but she yeah she uh, she had a really tough time washing her hair every other day she just couldn't stand being dirty my mom was super OCD like 10 times more OCD than I am and everything had to be clean if you know my mom if you watch my channel you're my friend or family member you know my mom is insanely clean so she had a really tough time with not washing her hair every day I mean not being able to wash her hair every day but as she was using more bleach, she was like, oh, I need to really stop brushing it every day. But as a hairdresser, she knew that, but she just had such a difficult time doing that. So to find a good dry shampoo is really, really important. All right, so my Dyson Airwrap, you guys. I just don't know how I ever lived without this. Yes, it is a hefty price tag. I did my review. You can check that out right there on that card. You click that card. You guys, this is it has all of my blonde hair in there. How disgusting is that? So it is one of the most incredible tools you will ever get your hands on. I love my Supersonic. You can check out that video. I love it. I love it for, especially with my extensions and everything, I like to use that one when I when I do wash my hair because this takes too long to do that and I really need to get that uh, scalp dry with the tape in it and stuff like that. So, but for every day I use this guy. I mean, I literally just plug it in my bathroom. I probably shouldn't and just leave it there because when I get up in the morning, even if I'm not going anywhere, I still wanna make myself feel pretty. So I'll just go in there and this is the attachment I probably use the most. And I like the, which one do I like? I have the smaller one now. It comes with the smaller, uh, uh, like a flat brush head and then I don't like the round brush one as much it's too small I wish they'd come out with a bigger round brush which I'm hoping because they came out with the smaller version of this later and I purchased that separately but I hope I really 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 hope they come out with a round brush attachment that's a lot bigger because that small one is just not it doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. I just don't like it as much. And then the curling wand ones I like and they're beautiful. I just hate having to like do the different attachments. But let me tell you guys, if you watch that video, it gives the most incredible, when I have the time, 
it gives the most incredible curl, the most incredible curl. And then that one I had my regular hair, I didn't have my extensions in. Since then, you guys, it's still, it, it works so good on the extensions. Oh my gosh, it is so safe too. It's like, it doesn't get that heat. You could actually literally put your hand on it and you can't burn yourself. So really good for kids. One of the best investments. I also love just using like the blow dryer one too, if I'm just doing a quick blow dryer. And honestly, like when I don't have my extensions in, it really does work really, really good. So big 2020, I just, I'll never stop using this thing. It is amazing. This was the black and purple one. It was limited edition, but they still have it on their website. So I will link everything on the bottom. You guys, that is one purchase that is completely worth the money. Completely. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. All right, I am gonna save the best for last. <laughs> so I filmed this tutorial a while back okay it's an old video now the footage got ruined i still have a little bit of footage and i'm going to insert right here and i'll just kind of talk while i'm showing you guys how i utilized this with my normal short hair this gives the most incredible shine to your hair I have been a huge believer in Rusk flat irons. I loved my T3. I did that video. You can check that out. And that was supposed to be a single pass, one stroke, and your hair flat irons perfectly. I don't feel like the T3 does that. I feel like I still have to go over it a couple more times. So you can see right there, it just curls so beautifully. It's actually one of my favorite ways to do beach waves now. Actually, it is my favorite way to do beach waves more than any other tool I have, especially when my hair is short like that. I just turned it on and it literally already is hot. And that was like, two seconds so it gets hot really quick i love that you can control the temperature so this is it goes from 280 to what's the highest it goes to 450 so very good it's the bionic sorry i didn't even tell you the name it's the bio ionic 10 times and it has a vibrating plate so what you're gonna do these are the controls right there so it has like an led screen right there so i'm gonna take that down a notch i don't need it to be at 400 i'm gonna take it down to i usually go about 380 sometimes 400 if I just really wanna get the job done quickly. But here is the controls on the side right there. When you click it, when you first turn it on, you just hold it, you just, you turn it off like that. And then to turn it on, you just hold it like that and it turns on. And then that just gives you a normal flat iron if you just want a regular flat iron. But the beauty of this product is the vibrating plates. So you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it my microphone but yeah this is insanely good do you see how smooth and shiny it is like it just makes your hair so incredibly shiny and then you can flip it and do like a beach wave there let me show you how it works with the beach waves i'm going to put it up a little bit i don't know why oh what because i turned it off that's right so i'm going to put it up a little bit higher so what you can do take my comb air comb you guys know this is my mom and my oh you can see my tape and extensions don't don't look at that part <laughs> so i'm just going to comb that through real quick i already have a ton of oil in my hair so i'm not going to worry about that but you just go like that and I just leave the ends out, obviously. And then just see how beautiful and perfect that beach wave is. But yeah, I'm kind of inserting footage from the other video as well, just to show you guys. But it is so incredible, even on my extensions. Like the fact that I can still use it and it works so good. Look at that. I mean, just gives that nice loose beach wave and you can even do it curlier than that. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher and let me show you guys. See how smooth that makes your hair? Oh my gosh, you guys. It is life changing. I'm telling you guys, this is one of, it's expensive, but it is worth the price tag. It is so good. And I think the vibrating plates make such a huge, huge difference. Look at that. Look at that curl. Look at how shiny that curl is. I truly, I gotta, I gotta cover up my extensions. I just do them myself, you guys. So, you know, they're not perfect, but it gets the job done. 
but yeah, I mean, obviously I wouldn't do it that way because my extension would show, but yeah. So I just love, I love this flat iron. I just want you guys to see how beautiful it was on my short hair as well. So I will show the details right there. It runs $230. I did get this on a really discounted price when Ulta has having a fantastic sale. It was the only reason why I purchased it, but I would purchase this for $230. Let's rank this because I think this is a good one to let you guys know whether it's worth purchasing. It's my new system I'm doing. If you're new to my channel, I like to rank the products and let you guys know a percentage wise of whether or not I think it's worth buying. We'll do this in four different categories. We'll do number one packaging, and then we'll do the actual application, how it works on, their, on your hair. And then we're also gonna do the claims. Does it really do what it says it does? And then the price point. So we'll start off with packaging. Packaging is stunning. I mean, I love this matte black. I think it is beautiful. It gets hot right there, so be careful. Um, you know, I wish some of these would be cordless, but you know, I understand and it's better I guess sometimes, but it is a good thick cord and it doesn't get too tangled up, which I really, really like. But yeah, the packaging, I love the LED screen. I think it makes it look hip and cool and you know, it's it's modern technology. I like that the tools are very easy to use. I like the fluctuation of being able to go from 280 to 450. I love that the T3 doesn't over damage your hair, but you can't control it. You can't control the settings. And um, when you install tape and extensions, if you ever do them yourself, you're supposed to use it at the lowest heat, which typically is around 250, 280 on most flat irons. And you're supposed to like, pinch the tape and you don't want it too hot. So I really, really, really like that it has that. I love the vibration, the vibrating plates that really lock in the moisture. So packaging 10 out of 10, it is so beautiful. It is so soft and it feels comfortable and it's easy to grip and I love the cord. So cord is huge for me. It doesn't get all tangled up. It has that twisty thing too, which is nice. So it, it moves around with you. Now let's go over application. You guys saw from that B-roll footage right there. I mean, it just literally curls your hair, beach waves, to perfection. Now, if you want that ringlet curl, I would still recommend using a curling iron. It's just gonna give you the best ringlet curls, but most of us do beach waves and want that loose curl. So unbelievably, the best tool, I think easier when you don't have extensions in, but in, most people don't, but on your normal hair, oh my gosh, the most incredible tool to do beach waves. And flat ironing and straightening your hair it is insanely good. It's one of the best flat irons I have ever used to straighten my hair. And that is a 10, solid 10 out of 10 for me. And then we come to actual product claims. So let's go over these claims. I'll show the photo right there. So the key features are that it has vibrating plates to smooth and style in under 10 minutes. Absolutely. Natural volcanic minerals that infuse microhydration. So yes, most definitely that is what actually makes it feel so moisturizing and shiny, which leads me to ultimate shine and condition. Absolutely. Rounded tip allows for versatile styling from roots to end. And I forgot to mention that in the packaging, you guys, I love that the tips are rounded. I think that's what makes it so easy to curl. So very impressed with that. And then digital temperature control up to 450 degrees for all hair types, which I already mentioned, love that. Bio ceramic heaters for constant and even heat. Absolutely agree with that. Ergonomic soft touch handle. I just covered that with a nine foot swirl cord. It has dual voltage, 120 volts to 220 volts, which makes it nice for international traveling. One hour automatic shut off. So I like that because sometimes I forget to shut off my devices. Five year manufacturer warranty. This has a five out of, almost, I mean, almost five stars on both. The, it's sold at Sephora and Ulta. Product claims, I'm gonna give it 10 out of 10. It does exactly what it says it does and, and even better. So I, I love it, you guys. It's the most incredible flat iron. I would definitely take that one over even wanting the Dyson one, the uh, cordless Dyson one, because I don't really feel like that one got that many great reviews. Of course, I always say try it yourself, you never know, and I love all my other Dyson devices, but for half the price, and you know, it's expensive, but if you get a good quality flat iron, it's gonna last you forever. I had my Rusk one. I still have it. It's still going strong for almost 20 years. So <laughs> I'm hoping this one will last me 20 years. And I've had my T3. I think I rated that one, what, three, four years ago. And yeah, it's amazing. So I love it. When you buy a quality flat iron, 
you get what you pay for. And watch out for sales. You know Sephora always has their 20% off and so does uh, Ulta. So watch out for their sales. I got this one for, I oh, uh, I wanna say like a little over a hundred when it was on sale. So, you know, watch out for that. It's a really, really good flat iron. Price point, $230. I know that's expensive, you guys. And I understand if you don't have the means for it, wait till you do. And you're on the market for a flat iron, it's worth it. I'm gonna give the price point nine out of 10 just because it is really expensive, okay? It is, I get it. I mean, even the T3 is under 200. So I, it's, it's hard to justify $230 regular price. So that's why I'm giving it a nine out of 10, but do I think it's worth it? Absolutely. So a total score of 39 out of 40, you guys. I mean, we're almost at 100%. You know I'm going to recommend this product. It's in my 2020 best of. I mean, it is amazing when it comes to like one tool that I can travel with. I mean, I would probably always bring my Dyson Airwrap, but I mean, as far as like, I would have to bring a flat iron, a curling iron, and my Dyson Airwrap. I don't really need a curling iron. I mean, I could still curl my extensions with this. At home, I like to use my, uh, my curling iron, but you know, when I have these long extensions in, but I don't have them in that often. So yeah, I mean, it's nice. It's an all-in-one tool to straighten and curl. Not too many flat irons I love curling with. I just don't, I don't really think, I think the T3 one, I did a video on that. You can check that out. It's good, but this is way better, like 10 times better. It's 10 times pro, 10 times better. So that's all you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought, you know what? Let's just narrow down the hair products. Oh, one more thing, you guys. I love the dry bar Velcro rollers. I use these, oh my gosh, so often, especially like when I'm doing my makeup and stuff and it just gives so much good volume. So what I'll do is I'll take this, um, I know Susan, you asked me to do a video and I'll do it separately on how I create that shape, that volume. This is part of the trick right here. And you guys know, I think I did this in my 10 minute video, but what I'll do is I'll either take a flat iron or I'll take uh, my Dyson Airwrap, either one, and then I'll just make it really, you know, heated up because that's what gets that to stay, that volume to stay in place. And then I'll just put like a, this is just, I don't use this clippy, but I'll just put any kind of clippy in there. I'm just gonna use this one for right now, but I usually have those like silver clippies and just do that. And then I'll take like, that comes in. I think this one has, I mean, you can get Velcro rollers anywhere, but I really, truly, I've been wearing Velcro rollers for so many years. My mom used to sleep in these things. <laughs> and even to go nowhere, she always slept in her Velcro rollers. But yeah, so this is so nice to just be able to do this. And then it just creates volume. And typically before I film, this is what I'm doing when I go drink my coffee and get my notes ready for how I'm gonna do the tutorial and all that stuff. So I'll leave these in up until I film and then I'll take them out. So then it just gives the hair so much. I mean, you can kind of already see the shaping there. And I typically only leave them in for, I don't know, 15 to an hour sometimes, depending on what I'm doing. And then um, what I do is I just take my blue comb and then I just, you know, tease it like that. And I'm just, I'm looking in the monitor, you guys, just so I can see, cause I don't have a mirror right there, but yeah. So that's how I create my volume. <laughs> that's, that's a little big, but you know what? I like it big, so. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I like it like that. So anyway, yeah, that's how I create the volume, Susan. I'll do a more in-depth tutorial, but that's this is my key right here. This and a, some type of heating device and put the Velcro roller in there. I'll put in a couple different Velcro roller choices that I really like, just so you guys can see if you wanna order those, but yeah. All right, you guys, so those are all the hair products I loved in 2020. You can check out my Best of Beauty Sephora haul finds. You can check that video out. I'm going to do another one because there's other products that I got at Ulta and Amazon and other stores that I really have been loving that I didn't purchase from Sephora. So I'm going to do that video as well, but I wanted to get the hair one in because we haven't done a hair tutorial in a while and I've been sitting on this footage that's now ruined because I got a new computer. But anyway, there's a whole nother story behind that. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys this flat iron. I've been dying to show you guys that flat iron. So very excited. We got to kind of, we didn't do like a full on tutorial. If you want me to do a full on tutorial, I'll redo that one. But I kind of showed you some of the footage of how it worked. But, and I just wanted to talk about the device because it's so, so good. Let me know if you want to see more hair videos. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram. Please give this video a huge thumbs up. That really helps me on the algorithm, you guys. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.